Hey guys, how goes it? Um, Basil here again from Techman Talk. And excuse me if I'm just a little bit excited this tutorial video because over on my, uh, I don't want to say main channel, but on Havoc Gamers, pretty much my biggest channel that I'm a part of, uh, we just hit 100 subscribers and that kind of makes me uh, happy. So uh, if any of those subscribers happen to be you, thank you so much for getting us to 100. I know it's not that many, but I consider it a milestone, especially since Techno Talk only has like five right now. Um, Here's all the Havoc people. I'm Havoc Rocket, in case you didn't know. But uh, this is unimportant. This is a gaming channel, by the way. Uh, what's important right now is Java. So here we are in tutorial number three. Now, what I really wanted to go over with you guys was um, input. Because the first tutorial, Hello World, was pretty much output. And, you know, it makes sense to do input when you do output. But uh, the problem is that it's really kind of irrelevant unless you know how to do if statements so we're gonna go through over if statements in this tutorial so I'm gonna create a new project I decided to create just one project and call it um tutorials because I'm sick of creating so many different projects and clogging uh, Eclipse when I do this stuff so I'm making tutorials and I'm just gonna make a new class for every tutorial so this one's going to be if statement blah statements there we go um and finish so here's our class you guys already know what all this means uh one thing i don't think i clarified last time about comments you guys were some people were like oh cool that's a comment it doesn't affect the program but what does it do it's just so that you can see something like if you were to do hello world and do system dot out dot print line wow my computer's kind of laggy right now and be like, yo, 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 erg. And uh, you are new to programming, you don't really know what this exactly means, or you forgot, then you could just make a comment and be like, this will say, yo, yo, yo. So really, it's just for you to know. You can put it in your program so you can see what you're doing, and it helps you just know what's going on. Um, so yeah, we're going to go with over if statements today. And the reason if statements are really important, if statements and loops are really important, is because that's what differentiates. Remember when we learned about data types and variables? Well, um, that really doesn't mean anything unless you can make it do something. The point of a program is not to just say a bunch of things, it's to make it so that it says different things depending on what the user wants it to say, or depending on a certain situation, whether it's the user or whether it's random, who cares. Um, so basically, here's how I'm going to try to teach this. I'm going to create a variable, and it's going to be an integer and I have no idea why it just made it blue okay uh, what the heck what's with the clipboard huh Grr. I don't like oh my god I really do not like um, Eclipse at all. I I usually either use JCreator or just write it in Notepad. I have no idea what this means. What the hell? I'm not even gonna deal with this. I'm not even gonna deal with this. I don't have time to deal with this. Grr. Let's just create a new class and start from scratch. If statements. I think it was looking at a comment. Whatever. Whatever. There we go. Now int works. Well, why was it all like dot int? I don't know. Eclipse kind of went crazy on me. Okay, so we're going to create an int. Uh, now I have to hurry up. And we're going to call this um, x. Leave it simple. And uh, uh, we're going to set it equal to 0. Okay, so we have an integer, it's a variable, it's called x, and it's, gonna, it's equal to 0. Now, here's the thing. Actually, wait, no. We also want an integer y, and set that equal to 10, for example. Okay? So what we want is we want the computer to say something until x, like we want to say it 10 times, pretty much. This is what um, how I'm going to do it. So as long as x is less than 10, we want this to repeat. This is actually more of a for loop. Now I think about it. Um, okay, here's this works. 
see if this works. There we go. Okay, so here I created an if statement. And uh, I should make this y. Alright, sorry for confusing you guys. But basically, you say if, and then you put in parentheses what you want the condition to be. So if this is true, then it's going to say a bunch of stuff. And uh, you have to put the little brackets again. So basically, uh, I set it so that if x is less than y, it's going to, let's just make it say system.out.println. That was my phone giving me a text. I'll check that later. It's going to say x is less than y. I don't know, I'm just going to make it say something random. So, um, x is equal to 0, and y is equal to 10. For those of you who aren't ma who are math physicists, this means that 0 is less than 10, which means x is less than y, which means this is true. So if we ran this right now, it shouldn't have any errors. Um, it would say x is less than y. The reason it would say that is because it would only say this if this was true. If we made x... Uh, if we made x equal to 11, for example, 11 is no longer less than 10. If we ran this, it wouldn't say anything because it's like, oh wait, you didn't. It, this is not true, so it's not going to say this. And uh, the reason this is useful is because I mean, obviously, the only way that this makes a difference in this case is because I actually changed the value in my code. But uh, the reason this is useful is because if you were doing user input, which we're going to do uh, hopefully next time, you could have it so that the user inputs the value of x. And if it is less than 10, then it'll say this. And if it is greater than 10, then it won't. Now, if you wanted to say something else when it's greater than 10, though, um, the fun thing is that, oh, remember when I said indenting doesn't matter? I like to keep that on that line. Um, blah, okay. Then you would have to use an if else statement. So what you could do is you could um, have an if nested, before we get to else's, you can have if statements nested inside of other if statements. So now we could say that, okay, um, if y is greater than z, then it's going to do something, and we could just um, cre quickly create a variable z and set it equal to... I don't know, um, 8? Okay, 8 is good. So if y is greater than z, then it's going to say... y is greater than z. Now, the thing is that if x is not less than y, it's not going to say either of these, because this whole condition right here, this whole if statement, will only be applied if this happens. And this only happens if x is less than y. So as it is set up right now, it should say both things. If we run it, it'll say x is less than y and y is greater than z. And as you can see here, x is less than y and y is greater than z. So that works. If we made um, z equal to uh, 11, y is no longer greater than z. And if we ran this it would only say x is less than y because it ta it takes this if statement, it's true, so it says this, and then it sees, oh, by the way, this can be like that, it doesn't really matter, but whatever. And then it'll take, and then it'll take this if statement, and it's not true, so it won't say this. And so on and so forth. And then if, like I said, if this was untrue, so x is not less than y, but this still is true, it's, it, won't, it won't say y is greater than z. It'll just say, actually, wait, it did say y is greater than z. Why did it? Oh, <laughs> because my brackets messed up. Uh, sorry guys. <laughs> that was embarrassing. No, okay. So this bracket goes with this. So now if I run this, um, yeah, it won't say anything. Brackets can mix you up, guys. Make sure you know what blocks go to what. If you in Eclipse, if you put your cursor in front of an opening bracket, it'll put a the end bracket to that beginning bracket in a box, so you can see what your block of code is. So that was just a mistake on my part, but this is how it should be. And, uh, yeah, that'll work. But now, if you want it so that if neither of these are true, like right now, neither of them are true right now, because this isn't true, then it's saying nothing. But if you want it to say something, if it's not true, then you'd have to make an, el an else. And the way you would do that is you would do, um, outside of the block now, you're no longer inside of this block, so outside of the bracket, you would say else. Ah. You would say else, begin bracket, end bracket, and um, if you wanted to say, so you would, uh, okay, so you would say system dot out dot print line x is not 
less than y. So if x is not less than y, it'll say this because if this is not true, if this is not true, it'll do the else. Oh wait, yeah, it'll do the else. I hate these stupid brackets. They mess me up every time. Okay, this should work. It says x is not less than y because x is not less than y. And uh, if we made x less than y again, and uh, we made y greater than z, if we say it, it's going to say both of these again because this is true. And then it'll check if this is true. And it's not going to say the else. You'll never see it say these and this at the same time because it's impossible for x to be less than y and not less than y. So it just won't do that. And uh, that's very, very basic if statements. Um, sorry if it was a little confusing. I was just kind of lost in this uh, tutorial because I kept messing up my brackets. I get nervous. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll be sure to revisit. But just, I hope I was able to cover the basics and uh, this will make more sense in terms of practical use when we go over uh, scanners and input, which will hopefully be next tutorial. So, see you guys.